Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Technical Analysis Webinar. My name is Troy. I'll be presenting for Avatrade this evening. As we get started, let's do a quick systems check. If you would, type OK in the chat box if you're hearing me clearly and seeing my screen all right. All right, great. Looks like we're up and running fine. If anyone has any issues as we go along, feel free to let me know. As always, keep in mind, no one trade is guaranteed to profit. With each and every trade that you take, there uh, is risk involved. So you want to manage risk in a way that makes sense for you. And we have a lot of uh, advanced tools in our web trader platform and Avatrade Go app that can help you with your risk management. We'll outline those as we go through the, the trading strategies uh, on the live charts. Uh, real quick, what is technical analysis for anyone who's brand new to things? Uh, I think most of you in these webinars uh, that I do have some trading experience, but uh, real quick, uh, technical analysis basically is just looking back at uh, the price movements on the charts. Usually it's a candlestick chart that you're looking at uh, and trying to find patterns, repetitive movements, price levels that look important, uh, any type of advantage that you think you can find in those movements uh, to help you out with opportunistic entry points and exit points. And it always helps if you can throw an indicator on uh, to help back up what you're trying to do. Uh, to give you a heads up maybe on entry points and exit points, uh, maybe to give you an idea of when uh, the indicator says the market's overbought or oversold, uh, and that can be part of your, your technical analysis plan as well. Uh, we tend to spend more time on the manual methods of drawing our own lines and finding our own entry points and exit points within the webinars because it's a bit more educational. Uh, to learn to read the candles yourself before relying on the indicators. But a combination of both can be part of your trading strategy. Uh, as we go along, if you have any questions, you want to give any input, uh, feel free to do so in the, in the chat box, the question box. Okay, so uh, from our main website, if you want to use our Avatrade Go mobile app, you'll find it under Trading Platforms and Avatrade Go. And so if you choose Avatrade Go, what you'll see if you get it on your mobile device is that the, the, the functionality of Avatrade Go app uh, is very similar uh, to our web trader platform. And so uh, the, the Ava Protect feature, the, the, the order window that calculates your exposure to your stop loss, your potential profit is calculated for you before you ever buy or sell uh, to your take profit price. All of those things are in our app, and also you'll see that, that those are functioning on our web trader as well. Uh, I think I'm going to just expand my screen a little bit, zoom in on the screen a bit to make things larger. There we are. That might be easier to see. And so uh, I'll go ahead and log in from the upper right corner on our website, and, and what you find is then the, the web trader platform with those same functionalities as our app. Now, since this is a technical analysis webinar, we can start with uh, a tool that can assist you with your technical analysis. If you go to our main menu, you go to Trading Central, you can bring up either Forex Featured Ideas or Analyst Views, and you'll find a breakdown of some candlestick formations of price levels and signals uh, that are here for you to, to try and take advantage of. Uh, so you can see here, Almost every signal involving the U.S. dollar, uh, except for the pound, uh, seems to be going with the U.S. dollar to strengthen. Uh, Euro to drop against the USD, Australian to drop against the USD, USD up against the czar, up against the yen, up against the Swiss franc, etc. Uh, and so you can start to, to, to notice uh, larger patterns as well within the signals uh, or just kind of zero in on a signal that you're most interested in. And so uh, what you notice here is multiple currencies expected to drop against the pound, euro down against the pound. Even though the USD is climbing against almost everything, it's expected to drop, according to the signal, the pound to go up against the USD rather than the, the USD winning that tug of war. So you can recognize patterns. So generally, the pound is expected to be strong uh, and the USD is expected to be strong within these signals. Once you get that idea, it's all about entry point. Now, the signals are giving you ideas about entry points and exit points. If we're looking at uh, USD JPY, for example, we see uh, they show you expected 
uh, price levels where you might want to take profit. They're showing you uh, this blue line is, is basically if it goes below that, they're saying then maybe you'd think about selling. Uh, with suggested take profit lines on any sell position. So basically your stop loss would be below this blue line on the signal with your take profits up here. And maybe you'd have a pending order below the blue line in case it broke below that. Uh, this is the general idea of how these uh, signals work. They give you a preferred direction. They say our preference. And when I say they, I mean Trading Central, the analysts from Trading Central. And then they give you a backup move, which is the alternate scenario. If it goes the other direction beyond the blue line, then they're saying the downside prevails in this case. Okay, and I think you'd find today it did not go below the blue line. The preferred direction is probably, uh, it might have already actually reached some of these suggested take profit levels. But that's the way these signals work. They give you a preferred direction and an alternate scenario with a, uh, a blue line that if it goes beyond it, that blue line, then that's when the alternate scenario kicks in. Uh, I'll pause for a moment. Any questions on how these signals would work, how you would utilize them? Okay, I don't see any questions popping up. If I do see any questions, uh, we'll, we'll take uh, them as they come, as I see them. Uh, okay, so, you know, in general, if we want to think about the fundamental news before we do our technical analysis, usually that's a good idea to have an idea of which way you think the wind is blowing. Uh, the market's really sold off today uh, with the equities and you know natural gas continued its plunge. Uh, gold is pushed down. Why is, why is the US dollar strengthening? Why, why are the, the equities and some of the commodities dropping off? Where's this fear coming from? Uh, a large part of it is there was again, strong data out of the US and also some out of the European Union in the UK, uh, which was a little more mixed, uh, but, but in general, stronger than expected data on uh, inflationary data that came out. And so uh, PPI numbers, CPI numbers, all these numbers keep leaking out day after day, uh, showing that there's still stronger than expected demand within the economy uh, and, and, and that creates a fear that additional uh, aggressiveness with rate hikes might be needed to bring inflation down to the target levels for different countries around the world. And so uh, this, this is uh, really a large part of what spurred the sell-off. Uh, Yulia, you're saying you think the webinar froze. It looks like everything's up and running. So if you're, if you're hearing me, I think it might be on your side. I did pause for a moment uh, to, to see if any questions were coming up. Maybe uh, you thought things froze up. Uh, okay, so uh, that's, the, that's the backdrop fundamentally. Fear hit. There was a bit of a sell-off, actually quite a large sell-off on the equities. I think the last time I looked, the Dow Jones, for example, was down 550 points uh, or more. Uh, maybe it's bounced back a little since then, but, but there's been quite a sell-off. So let's keep that in mind as we then do our technical analysis. And we understand then why the U.S. dollar strengthened so much, why all those signals were going with the U.S. dollar, because the U.S. has been so aggressive with rate hikes, and it looks like they might still need to be uh, raising the interest rates more to try and get a handle on inflation out of the U.S. So uh, if we take a look at something like the Euro USD, we could try and see, okay, well, where's the movement now? We know the signal said sell on Euro USD as the preferred direction. Uh, we can see on the one day candles, uh, it's certainly a red candle, but we also see the wick down here. So it's bounced back up a little bit. So if we zoom in then on smaller candles, say 30 minute, we can say, all right, we see the large plunge. And, and, you, and the plunge started, if we go back uh, 30 minutes, one hour, 30 minutes, a couple hours ago, maybe two and a half hours ago from the top of this wick, the plunge really started, uh, pulling the euro down against the USD. That's when some of that data came up, okay, showing stronger than expected numbers out of the US. And, uh, you know, the US rapidly strengthened and we see that plunge. So this is a continued downtrend after a little bit of a bounce back up. So uh, the technical analysis on this uh, shows a continued downtrend on the smaller candles. We can go to larger candles, say one day, and you can see this has got room to drop before it hits 
uh, any support levels on the one-day candles. So if we're looking, we say, okay, here's the first wick on the one-day candles down here. We're talking down at uh, dollar six thirteen, and we're at a dollar six fifty-two right now. So this looks like before it reaches any kind of support, which is the last spot where it hit and spiked back up on the one-day candles, we've got a good forty pips or so to go before it, it might reach this support level. There's no guarantee it'll keep dropping, uh, but that's the momentum. And on the smaller candles, it shows downtrend. And on the larger candles, we don't see a support level until here. Okay, and, that, and honestly, that's not much of a support level because there's only one point of contact and everything else is below that down to this next level down at $4.88. So if it breaks this low point here, it's got further that it could potentially plunge. So don't think just because on when we look at these 30-minute candles and you say, well, I missed the movement. It already dropped. Look at this plunge. If you're looking bigger picture and understanding the macroeconomic situation, fundamentally, uh, rate hikes to come most likely in the U.S., uh, this looks like it could, from a fundamental perspective, push towards the, these lower support levels down here. And so if you look at it that way, but you're afraid uh, from a technical standpoint to sell from such a low point on the 30-minute candles, you could use something like Ava Protect. To say, I don't like the technical entry point, but the fundamentals are telling me to sell. Uh, maybe I use Ava Protect. I say, you know what? It is a downtrend. So I'll go with a sell. Technically, it's a downtrend on those 30 minute candles. It's a downtrend on the one day candles. We can see it with a support level down lower. But maybe you're afraid to just put a stop loss because you could get caught in a bounce back up. So then you say, okay, well, let me protect this for a couple days, give it time to drop. Uh, I'll pick a trade size that the protection is the amount of risk I'm willing to have. Maybe I'm willing to risk, I don't know, 500 per trade or whatever it is. So then I do a, a two lot position or 1.8 and I say, okay, that risks 506. My potential profit, if I'm taking profit down here at, uh, let's say, I think it could push down to $1.5 to this support level down lower. Uh, so then I, I do I program a take profit maybe at a dollar five or just above a dollar five. Dollar five and ten pips. I think I'm I, I accidentally have it on a buy. So let's go to sell. Reprogram this. Always make sure you're on the right direction. Uh, okay, so take profit down at dollar five ten okay let me go back to my trade size of one point eight okay maybe one point seven trying to get to that five hundred mark okay there we are four ninety eight for the protection cost for two days uh, my potential profit is over two thousand four hundred dollars and the cost of the protection is less than 500, right around 500. So in this type of circumstance, if I'm right one out of four times, something like that, I, I make an overall profit. And hopefully I'm right more often than that. Uh, so if the fundamentals tell you you should sell in the bigger picture and you're not looking for a five minute scalp and the downtrend is there, which we saw in the technical analysis on the 30 minute candles, on the one day candles, we've got a downtrend, then you can use something like Ava Protect to do a longer term move. Now, if it spikes up 50 pips in the next four hours, I'm not worried about it. I've got two days protection. Uh, if it goes 500 pips up, I don't lose anything more. I, I only lose in the next two days while this is covered what I paid for protection. So uh, I can be patient on this. I can wait a couple days. If it drops the, the number of pips I'm looking for my take profit, great. If I'm wrong, I'm protected with Ava Protect. Uh, Narender, you're asking, are, are the analyst views there Well, on the mobile app? Yes, it is there. Yes. The same functionality, the same features that you see here from Trading Central are on the Ava Trade Go mobile app. If you're using the MetaTrader mobile app to trade on your account, you do not have those tools, these tools here. So make sure you're using the Ava Trade Go mobile app, which trades on MT4 and MT5. 
So you're not losing any functionality by using the Avago app. You can still trade on your MetaTrader accounts using it. Uh, yes, let's have a look at gold. Someone suggested we look at gold. So we simulate, simulated a, a sell move here on EURUSD. And, and by the way, I'm not telling you you should sell. If you want to buy on EURUSD, you can. But the, the fundamental strategy here was identifying a downtrend on the small candles. 30-minute candles are downtrending. Identifying that on the larger candles, it's a downtrend. One-day candles are a larger downtrend. And that the support level is down quite a ways. Uh, in terms of any support levels that have multiple contacts on the one-day candles, we're all the way down near $1.05, okay? This is the closest support level, but it only has a single point of contact where it held and went back up. So this support level maybe is a little stronger one. So if you, if you feel there's a strong enough downtrend, which we see a pretty strong downtrend technically, and if you feel the fundamental news is in your favor, which it feels like it is in terms of rate hike fears, the sentiment is there uh, to, to maybe strengthen the U.S. dollar, then this is a move maybe that you see worth taking. Obviously, there's no guarantee, so we've protected it with Ava Protect with this example. Uh, so let's look at gold. That was requested. Let's take a look. We see it's similar to the euro. It's dropping. It's a nice red candle today. Nice if you're selling, I guess. Uh, that's expected when there are rate hike fears in the U.S., fears that the U.S. dollar is going to have higher interest rates. That tends to strengthen a currency. So makes sense that the U.S. dollar strengthening would pull down commodities that are paired against it, like natural gas, like gold. Okay, uh, so we see a red candle today on gold. Uh, if we look at 30-minute candles or one-hour candles, you might find an entry point you like, okay? So uh, maybe it reaches a support level that you want to buy from. Certainly you can do that. Uh, I tend not to, to trade against the fundamental news. The fundamental news says U.S. dollars should strengthen. So maybe I try and find an entry point that I like to sell on gold. Uh, again, trying to align to the best we can our understanding of the fundamental news and trade in that direction from a technical entry point that we like, okay? Uh, again, if you wanna buy in gold, you can. I think the fundamentals say the USD should strengthen. Uh, so you know, maybe, maybe there's a bounce back up and you wanna try and sell from a higher point. It doesn't mean that just because you think the USD should strengthen that it's going to continue to strengthen right this second, right? Uh, there, there always can be pullbacks of a certain distance, that sort of thing. So uh, that's that's why we used to have a protect in the last example with a two-day protection, because you can fully acknowledge that even if you're right, that the U.S. dollar is going to strengthen, you could be wrong for the next five hours. So we did two days protection uh, in the direction that we feel maybe in the bigger picture, eventually that movement should win out. But we do see downtrend on gold. Not surprising when we have the expectation that the U.S. dollar would strengthen. And we saw in the signals that all of those were pretty much right. They, they are all predicting the U.S. dollar would strengthen. It, every chart we look at, we see that that's what happened. Uh, you know, those signals are not always correct. But, but a lot of times they're in line with the fundamental news. And many times that helps the signals come to fruition. Okay. Uh, those, those signals aren't just coming out random guesses or something. Those analysts at Trading Central, they are following the fundamental news. They're looking at the price levels just like we're doing, and they're trying to find entry points and exit points that make sense, technically speaking, from the technical analysis. Uh, and you can see gold is dropping right now after bouncing up. Why might it drop from where it dropped from right here just about 15 minutes ago? Follow this over, that's an old support level. I drew this line from a prior webinar and look how that line held. This was an old support level, support, back up. Support, back up. Well, it broke, it became resistance here. Went back down, it went above, back below, and now it was testing it and it found resistance right at that same spot that was an old support level. Okay, so support, Support becomes resistance many times, okay? That's 
technical analysis 101, that old support levels that are broken many times become resistance levels because whatever it is that caused the support level to break, strengthening of the US dollar is what causes it to hold as resistance now, strengthening of the US dollar, causing it not to break back above this price. Why did it break below this price? Strengthening of the US dollar, right? Interest rate hike fears caused this to break. If interest rate hike fears are still there, it causes it to hold as resistance, okay? So that's the fundamental analysis behind why the technical price level is holding. So uh, whether you're a technical trader or not, the fundamental news is built into these price levels. And if you had sold on this while I've been talking, you'd be further in the money. But this is just confirming that that's a resistance level that looks like it wants to hold on the smaller candles. So then you say, okay, I'm convinced maybe. If that's how you feel, I'm convinced this resistance level looks like it wants to hold. Okay, great. Let's go to the larger candles. Let's look and see, okay, if this is going to drop from this resistance level on the one day candles, resistance, 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 and down it's coming on the one day candles. If it's going to drop to the next price level, that's down here. You see this wick, it hit and bounced just about four or five days ago on the candles. So that's down at around 1819. We're at 1834 or so right now. So if you say, okay, let me sell on this. Let me again protect with ABA protect. I will do two days protection again to give it time to potentially fall. I'm going to do a trade size that only risks the amount or costs the amount I'm willing to risk per trade. If I do one lot, that's going to cost me about a thousand. So let me do 0 0.5. That's about 500, a little less cost. And what's my potential profit? If let's say I want to take profit down here at 1819, which is where that next support level is, maybe not enough to justify the cost of the protection. We'll see. Okay, I would make about 800 if it reaches this first support level. That's significantly more than the protection cost. Okay, so maybe I think that's worth it. Uh, I could always manually close at that price and but give myself a chance to go to the next support level down, like here, where we see there was support on the one day candles. That's closer to 1800. And that's a nice round number, 1800. So I could say, you know what? Maybe I, I push it to 1805. And now I'm making triple what it costs me for the protection, approximately triple. Uh, and, and if I catch it at, it's up a thousand instead of this total potential profit and I wanna close it manually, then I could, okay, or do a partial close. So since I have two days protection and I'm selling on it, uh, then I go ahead, I put my stop loss at a more, I mean my take profit at a more ideal price and if I look at it tomorrow or something and it's down here jumping around before the take profit and I want to do a partial close or something like that, uh, then I could do that and let the, less, the, the rest of it run. Uh, once that protection ends, if it happens to be in the negative, I'll get a payment from Ava Protect. So if it goes flying the wrong way overnight or something and I'm a couple thousand in the hole or whatever, uh, I could manually close and take the payment from the protection if the protection's still going, or I could let it go. And if the protection ends, whatever negative floating is there, I get paid and the trade can keep running. Okay. Uh, Mohammed, you're asking, where can you see fundamental news? I do a fundamental analysis webinar on Thursdays uh, at 11 a.m. UK time, but I'll show you real quick where you can find fundamental news in this platform and in our app. Uh, fundamental news is here. Go to Trading Central. You can go to Market Buzz. And for any instrument, you can find the latest news off the internet literally in seconds. So stocks, okay. I can, okay, what's trending on Tesla? What fundamental news is the latest on Tesla? Uh, so I click on Tesla and it will load on the right hand side of the screen uh, a bunch of articles and headlines that have been found regarding Tesla. And my internet is just a little slow. We've been having some Wi-Fi issues. 
uh, in the office. Let's just see if it will load. There it goes finally. Hopefully uh, your internet's faster than mine currently. Uh, and so you get articles specific to Tesla. You can see exactly what is the latest news. This was 34 minutes ago. Tesla scales back German battery plans, won over by U.S. incentives. Uh, and, and on it goes. You can read whatever's going on with Tesla. Uh, if you want to say, well, I'm more interested in the indices, okay? So pick indices. The ones that are trending most have the largest bubble, okay? Hang Seng, uh, US 500. You click on it, tells you the latest news on that index, okay? Something from Mason Street Advisors, Northwestern Mutual, uh, on and on, okay? So you can find the latest news. Here's one from Bloomberg. Uh, here's something talking about US stocks also fall, talking about what's happening. Uh, there is a bunch of news you can find right there at your fingertips, okay? Uh, and, and also I would suggest surf your favorite news uh, websites that involve investing, whether it's Bloomberg, uh, others that are out there, Reuters, et cetera, see what the main headlines are before you trade. What are the latest breaking news headlines? And, and then you get an idea of what the sentiment is right now before you start to trade, okay? So you can look specifically at specific instruments like I just showed you in Market Buzz, and you can do a general headline search as well. Okay, separate from our platform. Uh, so you know, here's here's our couple positions we opened. Uh, the 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 Euro USD is fall falling nicely for us into a nice profit. We'll see what happens on these trades in a couple days. Uh, the, obviously, the momentum right now is on our side. We'll see what what happens in 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 a day or two as this as this carries on. Uh, I don't know if there were any other requests. GBP Swiss franc was requested. So. Uh, the pound has been strong today, some fundamental news that has helped it out. Uh, Swiss franc is a safe haven, so that might be a tough one for the pound to stay up against. Uh, you see the one-day candle, you see the pound is up nicely, okay? Uh, we can see 30-minute candles, it might be running out of steam, okay? We see the big climb, and we see it starting to, to level off in a red candle form. So from a technical perspective, you might say, this might be a spot to short the pound. Uh, you don't have to risk much. We know there's a lot of fear today. Swiss franc tends to be a safe haven. It strengthens when there's fear. So you could try and take advantage of this high point and say, okay, I'll put a stop loss above today's high. If it breaks above there, I'm out. Because I know the pound has been strong uh, in general today. So I'm trading against the strength of the pound, but with the fear maybe that's there with with a safe haven currency like the Swiss franc maybe, okay? So uh, maybe I sell uh, with this one, I won't do Ava Protect, I'll just put a stop loss uh, above today's high, so maybe 112.50. It's already there, 112.50.3, sounds good to me. Uh, take profit, maybe I'm not going to try and be greedy here. Let's say if it comes down to the first support level, I'll take it or maybe the second support level uh, down here, 111.90, maybe I'm happy with that. It, you know, that's up to you. Uh, or maybe you're waiting for a much larger drop. That's okay too. Uh, and, and honestly, you could be waiting for a climb. <laughs> if you wanted to, maybe you're waiting for it to dip down and then you're going to buy. It looks like it's trying to downtrend now, but you know the pound has been strong. So maybe you're just waiting to see if this will dip and you and if it reaches a price you'd like to buy from it. That's okay too. Uh, but let's say uh, 111.90 as a potential take profit. And now I want to do a trade size that makes sense to me. I don't want to risk that much. So if I did uh, two lots, I'd be risking 420. That's under the 500 I'm willing to risk per trade with the demo balance, the the fake live account balance I have here. Uh, but you always should have an amount you're willing to risk per trade, whether that's $50, $25, $100, or $1,000. It should be based on your risk tolerance and your balance. And uh, at least you're informed here before you make the move, right? And so if I got that set up, I say, okay, I could, I could make almost 900, I'll risk 420, there we go. 
Okay, it's a quick scalp type move. Could reach either my stop loss or my take profit in a pretty short period of time, basically is what we're looking at here. Uh, any questions at this point? Comments? I'll pause for a moment. Okay, so let's move on. Uh, you know, what, what's really interesting to look at is something like natural gas. Uh, you know, a lot of traders keep, whoops, how did I do that? Somehow I brought up Google. Let's go back. There we are. Uh, let's bring up natural gas. And, uh, you know, if you look at natural gas, obviously 30-minute candles, we see strong downtrend. I mean, it's just plunging today. Uh, and you might say, well, maybe it was at a high point. If we look at one-month candles, one-month candles, look at this drop. Month after month, it tried to come up one month and down further, down further. It just keeps breaking support levels. What's going on with natural gas? Well, a few things. One is it's been a milder than expected winter, uh, which is a, a really good thing because there were fears with the whole Russia-Ukraine situation that uh, all of Europe might be have a shortage uh, of natural gas. Uh, Luckily, that didn't come to fruition. It's been a milder than expected winter, but there were a lot of natural gas stockpiles, I think, saved up that haven't been used. Uh, demand is down. There are recession fears on top of it because of all the rate hikes and trying to get rid of inflation. Uh, so with interest rates going up, that's strengthening the currencies and pulling commodities down as well. Factor in recession fears, boy, you know, it's like the perfect storm for natural gas to drop. And it has broken another support level today. Look at the one-month candles. This line here, this was a little support level. It broke that today. We're down further. So uh, where's the next support level? <clears throat> We're talking right about here. If I go over, we see support. That's It's down a, a ways from where we are now. If I go to maybe one-week candles, okay, uh, we see the line I just drew. Let's go to one day candles. We don't even see the support level I just drew once we go to one day candles. It's not in the picture. So it looked close on the one week candles. On one day, the support level I drew is not even in the picture here. So there's a ways that this could drop. Even after all the dropping, it just broke a support level. Let me draw this here. There's the one day candle support. It's below it. Uh, it's got room to drop further, okay? Uh, just something to keep in mind as an example of why you shouldn't just keep blindly buying on something that's dropping and dropping and dropping. And, you know, traders sometimes get stubborn. They don't put a stop loss or they don't uh, follow the fundamental news and they just think if something dropped far enough that it has to go back up. Uh, eventually it will, but there's no telling when if you're fighting against the fundamental news. And the fundamental news right now is working against natural gas going up. Recession fears, uh, rate hikes strengthening the currencies, uh, a mild winter, etc. So uh, I just wanted to end with this as an example of why it makes sense to do some of the things we did on our prior uh, instruments that we just looked at why you look at it and have a risk management plan where you have a stop loss, or you put a protection feature on like Ava Protect, and you have a plan that within a couple days you can close out the trade if it's going the wrong way or the right way. Uh, <clears throat> and you get into it with a, with a plan of not just if I'm gonna make profit where I'll get out, but where you get out if it's going the wrong way too. And, and that you're looking at the fundamental news, trying to be in line with the fundamental news as you set up your trade ideas, okay? So uh, what we did on the first couple moves will prevent uh, what could have happened if you were fighting uh, this drop on, a, on an instrument like natural gas, okay? All right, everybody, thank you for joining. Good luck with your trading. Uh, always try and uh, think things through fundamentally, then get into your technical analysis and go after some moves uh, maybe like we simulated today. All right, everybody, good luck. Bye for now.